We're at the midpoint of yet another Fortnite season, guys. That means we've all started to look forward at what the next season of the game might bring. You know, Fortnite has made some fantastic changes in season five, but that doesn't mean that things can't improve even further, right? Bunch of Crunch Army, check it out. All right, today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the worst elements of Fortnite in season five and how we think they could be improved as we move into season six later this year. Hey, I just wanna inspire you guys right now. Bunch of Crunch Army, I'm so proud of you because you're still here and you're still going after your dreams, all right? Enjoy this video. I'll see you soon. In this video, we've used some incredible clips from some of your favorite pro players. We've given them credit on screen and links to their channels are in the description. So go ahead and check them out. Okay, so depending on who you ask, you're gonna hear some pretty different things about the current meta of Fortnite, all right? Especially when it comes to the shotguns. If there's one thing that we can all agree on is that the shotgun meta at the moment is actually pretty balanced. The charge, the tack, and even the lever action all fulfill very different roles in the meta. But if there's one thing that the shotgun poll that we ran a while ago on our community page shows this, it's like almost everybody wants the pump shotgun back. In almost everyone's eyes, the pump meta was one of the most fun and the most skillful metas for like a lot of reasons. The pump action shotgun had the ability to lay down insane amounts of damage if you were able to land your headshots, rewarding people with good aim massively to the degree that you could end up even clutching up against multiple people spraying at you at the same time. None of the current shotguns really allow you to do that. So the attack shotgun fires fast, but its damage output can be inconsistent. The charge shotgun lays the damage down, but you know you need to charge it up so the fire rate is just unbearably slow. The lever action strikes good middle ground, but let's be honest, it just feels like a weaker pump and doesn't really quite scratch that high damage itch in the same way. Basically, like we want the pump to come back in season six and we want it back for good. Okay, but if the pump is going to come back, you're going to need to know how to use it properly, right? Learn how to use every weapon right at ProGuides.com. Now with our 20% off offer on our coaching courses and master classes. I also want to say this, man, for my motivational moment that you guys got to, you know, keep focus. So many distractions come in our lives. And, and I know we have so many pressures, you know, from our family, pressures from school or work or whatever it is. But, you know, you have to stay focused. You have to have goals and, and don't turn away from those goals. Have your goal, you know, of, of how you're going to get better every single day. And that's how you're going to take it to the next level in your life. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. So one of the major things that has really kept the Fortnite competitive scene from actually improving and really grown over the past year that I feel is the lack of solid communication between Epic Games and their player base. There was a time, man, where Epic seemed to be like super approachable and a time that we would actually get good patch notes. Remember that? With each and every patch the game received. So those days are long gone. In fact, sometimes it feels like Epic doesn't listen to their fan base at all. Let's take Siphon, for example. When Siphon was added to, you know, every mode, it felt like almost every single player who touched the game loved it. It made games more aggressive, better paced, and you didn't have to spend as much of the match as farming because you just get mats and on elimination. But then, out of nowhere, Epic Games decided to remove it. So according to them, it was because fewer people were returning to play the game but but if the public outcry from the fans was anything to go by epic had definitely made a mistake it's not just removing things from the game either like we're constantly bombarded with different bugs and issues and we're, and we aren't always given a completely clear reason as to why certain things are happening the way they are most players agree that with just a few couple of changes the game could be hitting the maximum potential that we all know it can reach but without epic games listening to us and telling us everything that's what's up you know that's never going to happen maybe season six would be the turning point you know, maybe we're going to start getting patch notes again and maybe Epic will start being more open about, you know, what the changes they're going to make are. But we're not really holding our breath. So if we're talking about changes that could specifically benefit the competitive Fortnite community, then one of the things that we think could be seriously beneficial to help and foster a better competitive environment, is, you know, specifically in Arena, would be some actual incentives. You know, at the moment, like the only reason you could you know, even bother ranking up an arena is to be able to enter tournaments at the different divisions and, you know, just play against better overall players. That's not how things work in most of other games with a competitive ladder. In most games, all right, players get some sort of reward for doing well in a competitive season, and it would be really nice to see Fortnite adopt something like that. Like, all right, let's take League of Legends as our example. In League, if you manage to get a gold or above, you get a special skin. You know, you get a profile picture and loading banner to show off the rank that you got in the previous season. This causes a lot 
lot of people to grind as hard as they can to get above the goal, just so that they can just show off their skills with their fancy exclusive cosmetics. So by giving people an actual incentive to play arena mode like this, you're gonna end up getting more and more people playing the mode in general. Not only would this give players faster queue times and better players to fight, but it would also end up encouraging people to rise up that might never have the encouragement to do before. And it could directly lead to more pros finding their feet in the world of Fortnite. All right guys, so on the subject of pros finding their feet, you know, as players who are constantly trying to improve, all right, what's one thing that you would do to change the game that would help you out? Let us know down in the comments. And also, like, what's one thing in real life that you want to change about yourself? All right, well, let's get back into the video. Okay, so talking about rank rewards, another thing that we should probably mention are prize pools at the highest level of Fortnite competitive. So it's no secret, guys, that the recent changes to the ways prize pools work in competitive Fortnite have met some mixed reactions and have caused some serious shift among top organizations that have played in the game. Like orgs like TSM and Cloud9 have either completely just left the game or are slowly starting to minimize their presence in the scene just because the smaller prize pools aren't looking quite as appealing to their bottom line. You know, it feels like the prize pool has just dropped every single season since chapter two began and the biggest drop has definitely happened over the course of season five you know it's not just about the amount of money that players have the ability to win it's also about the number of players that are eligible to win it for example like the trio cash cups went from the top 75 trios in nae walking away with cash to the top 25 and where the fncs is concerned the prize pools are now only available for grand finalists these massive changes may cause many players to become demotivated and in some cases quit the scene entirely so you know back in the days of the world cup and the very first trios fncs players were given ludicrous amounts of money not even for just winning outright but for just qualifying tournaments like the semifinals now of course we don't want every event to suddenly become the world cup but in the very first trios fncs players were given money man for placing in the top 250 of the semifinals alone and now the prize pools are relegated just to the grand finalists so you can already tell how much this is really impacting players. Pros are just starting to air their annoyance at the changes and your average semi-pro now is really going to be out of luck when it comes to making bank off of Fortnite tournaments. It would be nice to hope that in season six, our prize pool is gonna resemble what we had two years ago, giving everybody, you know, has a chance to make their dreams come true. But the fact of the matter is, unfortunately, it's pretty unlikely. Ever since Fortnite first dropped into our PCs and consoles, the only thing that has really differentiated the weapons that you use is the rarity of each gun. But if the leakers are to be believed, as early as season six, that might be changing forever. Apparently, long at last, weapon and vehicle attachments will be added to Fortnite, and honestly, we cannot wait. So each and every season that Fortnite gets drastically changes the game in some way. Like sometimes it's massive changes to the map, like say a flood or a big zero point desert. Other times, it's the introduction of new mechanics like bounties or fishing. None of the changes really messed up with the core that Fortnite has, but that might be about to change if attachments get added to the game. So the leaked items include, here we go, mounted turrets on top of cars, the behavior of cars changing on certain terrain and requiring attachments to work better on something like grass or sand, and even things like swappable scopes and magazines for your weapons with their own separate tier system. So adding this to Fortnite might seem a little bit scary to some players, especially those of us who are in the competitive scene, right? I mean, it's going to add, you know, a whole lot of new RNG <laughs> to the way the game works, but it also means that we could be introduced to a brand new meta, one that we've never experienced before. It would honestly really improve how the game is played and would add a whole load of new possibilities and honestly probably increase the skill ceiling as well. So if wildly popular battle royales like, you know, Warzone and Apex Legends can have weapon attachments, then why can't we? So every season brings us on changes, and these were the ones that we really think need to be made for season six. Honestly, guys, you know, if Epic chooses at least one of these changes in Fortnite, we're gonna be pretty happy. If you guys liked the video, you already know what to do. Subscribe to the channel. Once we hit 1 million subscribers, we're gonna release my story of how I made it to our map today. Hey, if you guys wanna connect with my Instagram, you can at Your Motivation Guy. Keep grinding, and I'll see you soon.